Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, after the balls were trampled above the 72 cent handle, the market reversed very sharply and accelerated on the back of the Russia-Ukraine crisis. With the decline, the market crushed through the 60-day moving average and nearly reached its objective, which was seen around 70, 55, 70. With a rebound back into play, could now see a short squeeze up towards the top side of its range again, around 72, 50, 80, and I do expect to see another rejection from there. Any upside challenges may be a little bit difficult this time due to the RSI breaking down quite heavily, where before the market was a little bit stronger. Nevertheless, the immediate support comes in around 7150 and the key base at 7055 70. With the euro plummeting and accelerating to the downside as the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, recovers, it hits its target of 111 and now rebounding about 100 points. I'd rather sit out at the moment just for the next 24 hours just to see how the market plays in terms of this rebound. And if so, could see a small retracement up towards the region of 112.65 before reversing. As I do anticipate, the market will take it lower, eventually back to 111 or even to the broader case, which could be down towards 107. But that's a broader target. We first of all need to break 111 to get to that story. Dollar yen, very whippy and very much in terms reaching its objectives of both sides. That was around 114.70 and 115.50. I'd rather sit out also for the moment, but looking at this pattern, it is breaking down a bit somewhat, so keep an eye on the RSI in case we see a break and a follow through. Sterling, I'd rather sit out for the moment because it did crush the level, which I anticipated holding around 134.60. However, from the current recovery, it is attempting to claw back its way to some of those losses from last night. Nevertheless, it could be still a bit choppy into Friday, and a neutral play may be safer until anticipating the next move. However, Sterling Kiwi still holds relatively negative and to its objective, which is seen somewhere around 198.50. A very whipsaw price action, you can even call this a spinning top or a blow off top, due to the fact from the rejection the market fell 100 points and now settled around 1,900. In light of the pattern, I'd also like to sit out for the moment. However, with that being said, if we do get a break of 1,878, it does give another downturn to about 1,844. And following Gold's footsteps, well, the oil also posted a blow-off top and hit nearly $100 a barrel before plummeting to about $9, but has rebounded too since then. In light of the pattern, I still feel the market may actually squeeze back to the top side of the range. However, it's probably best to sit and see how the indecisiveness of this pattern plays out into Friday and maybe get a stronger assessment into the start of next week. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. I hope you have a great start to the new weekend.